video number two. Um, still gonna do uh, another video on my tablet because I'm waiting for my computer to figure out its crap. And um, yeah, so packages, like I said in the last video, I've got fruit snacks, which I have a subscription to for like the rest of the year, thanks to somebody special. And also a special present from the same person, um, the Shrimp Punch package came in. And, um, I have no idea what's on it. And, I guess I shouldn't try to read through the thing before I open it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure which one I should open first. Probably the shirt first, because it's one item versus art snacks is multiple items. So... I'll have to show what I get. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try out the stuff right away, but I'm definitely going to like show you what is the contents. This is the Art Crunch package for March. Um, the last one I had... I'm like looking around. It's been a minute since I've been in my room. I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's over here. No? I set it down. I haven't been in my room in like two weeks, so I have no idea what, where, why, and how. <laughs> um, but I had February, and it came with some nifty stuff, and a little package of candy hearts, because it's art snacks, so you get art supplies and a snack. So, that is going to be the one for March. I'm not sure what's in it. I haven't looked at any of the art snack challenges or anything, so we shall see. Um, yeah, this is my, here's my thing, I wonder where I put the box offhand, but this is from, this is from February's, and it's kind of describes, I don't know if you can see these things, it describes the items that I got, and then, I did a video for it, but I never uploaded it, I'm sorry, um, it was really crappy, to be honest, so, this time I'm just gonna do it right, so this is gonna be my real official opening, video opening, and I don't know if that's a dead spider or what. No, it's fuzz. Okay. Um, good stuff. Okay. Sure punch. This is a mystery to me. Oh, open like this? Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, wow. The only thing I know about this shirt is I was told to pick whether to pick like a re regular like Technicolor scheme or grayscale, and um, so that's really all I know is that I said grayscale and um, like black and white, you know, whatever. So that's all I know that this shirt is. So we'll see what it is. <laughs> Look at the invoice real quick. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's take a look. Move this package over here. And oh, that's awesome. Okay, you guys ready? This is Burton Road. It's got. Some notable characters. Um, we've got Beetlejuice. We've got Edward. We've got the Martians, I think. From yeah, Martians from Mars Attacks. Those things freaked me out when I was a kid. I could watch any other horror story when I was younger, but and and kind of be fine. But I watched like Independence Day over and over when it came out. But I watched Mars Attacks. I made my brother take me when I was little. Probably not the best idea, but I was so stubborn. And so I went with my brother, and I think is his first wife. And we saw that, and I think I was like seven years old or something. And like I had nightmares. I was afraid to go to sleep. Like, I was paranoid. And and this, like, I don't know. It's, it's a crazy movie. Um, I never really got to read a lot of the comics, but I would love to. But it's just, I don't know. Something about this is really awesome to me, even though it kind of terrified me. And, of course, Jack the Pumpkin King, Jack Skellington, on the road. I love 
love it. I love it. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna. I might wear this later. Probably not right away because I'm actually thinking about like passing out for a little bit today. I'm like running on like three hours of sleep or so. I don't know if you can tell because I had a lot coffee this morning and tea and I've like sufficiently been nourished <laughs> and yeah. Um, so that's awesome. Thank you. I love it. The shirt smells like, I love to smell brand new shirts. Am I weird? Okay. <laughs> um, it works out great too because I gave away some of my old shirts that I don't wear. I have like this huge collection of t-shirts and some of them just don't fit anymore. Because that's what happens when you fluctuate with weight gain and loss and stuff and body changes. And I've had stuff for like 10 years and so I gave a bunch to like my cousins. Which I could probably go through some of my t-shirts and get rid of some more. I was supposed to get my reboot shirt back from my cousin and my Star Wars one. But she has mess in her closet. You have no idea that needs working on. I need to get this back. It's just incentive to go back down to Southern California and get my stuff back. You know who you are, Miss Sarah Spicoli. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Alright, six minutes, six and a half minutes? Okay. So this is my Art Snacks box. If you haven't seen them before, Art Snacks is also another subscription service where they, um, they will ship to you um, like some random art supplies, probably about like four or five depending, and then you get like a treat in there too. Um, they're like usually like pencils or pens or markers and stuff that are, are new and neat to draw, um, try. Um, last time I got like some, I got a uh, manga marker, it was fine tip, and a brush tip, and then I also had, it was double ended, and it was a, like a light blue, I can't remember, it was like haze blue. It was like an icy blue. And then I had like this pencil and then I had, it was like a wa water soluble sketching pencil. It was really neat. And then I had like this, um, it was, what color was the paint? Well, I don't have the paint offhand, but I can show you what it looked like because I keep stuff on my desk, like a dark, a dark, that's basically the color. I was doing like color tests. That's like the color of it. And, um, my weird little doodles and, yeah, um, oh, I got, like, this, is that the green pencil or is that a green pencil I already had? And then, this is how light the haze blue is, like, it's so, so light, right? So, it was neat. Came with a paintbrush, too. Um, so I did an art challenge with that, and I posted it. It's probably on my Instagram somewhere if you're interested in checking it out. Trying to figure out how I'm going to open this real quick because this doesn't seem like the easiest. Oh, I can prepare it. I've got this. Well, I don't need the pliers part. I just need the knife. Multi tools are awesome just because you are a lady doesn't mean that you can't have a supply of handy dandy tools. This is really awesome. My brother got this for me one year and I have kept it ever since. Um, so let's get this open. Woohoo! Nothing like the sound of a box opening. Ooh. This looks neat. Oh. I'm already excited. Okay. Oh, I am oh no, I'm even more excited now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Last time I got a sticker from Art Snacks. This time I'm gonna go ahead and just go I'm gonna skip the other stuff. This time they sent me a patch. That is freaking awesome. I need to put that on something. Oop. I'm gonna put that on something. I have like a, a bunch of patches just hanging around on my desk already. <laughs> That's kind of convenient. I'm like, oh yeah, I love patches. Um, so I love patches and like buttons. Like um, here, you can laugh at me because I'm a nerd. But, I mean, oop. I'm much cooler online. I've had that for years. Don't judge me. It's kind of a weird teenager. We all are at times. So, awesome. I can put that on, like, one of my jackets or something. Um, I'm kind of excited already. Um, where's my little thing? I want to see what it says first. So, Art Snacks, we are turning to, I guess it's their anniversary. Here's what's on the menu for March. There's a Pro Art Chamois Cloth. Chamois? Chamois or Chamois? Wait, what is this? The Pro Art Chamois Cloth 
Oh, Shammy. Okay, I was right. Shammy. Pronounced Shammy. It says so. And is made of a soft pliable material and is used for smudging, blending, and shading. If you're looking for a soft blended look, lay your cloth on top of your charcoal or pastel marks and gently rub in a circular motion. This cloth will work well with the pentallic soft pastels. To clean the sham chamois, just shake it out and reuse it. Did I say chamois again? I don't know. But, awesome! Okay, so I get, I'm guessing they gave me pastels. That's what it looks like. I'm kind of excited for Is They gave me the pentallic soft pastels, which I've been meaning I need new pastels. I don't know if you guys have seen. I'll show at the end of the video instead of ruining my camera angle right now. But I have this Maleficent I've been working on forever, and I need more pastels to finish it and just like work out the whole background but it, it's like watercolor and uh, soft pastel and it's like this big and I want to do amazing things with it and I just love it and I just haven't finished it and I don't want to ruin it by just like slapping anything on there so I don't know if anyone else feels like that I just get weird about things so I just left it there and stares and stares me in the face every day okay so Alright, enough ranting reading. So, Bentalic Soft Pastels. You know what? Let me, before I go on ranting raving about this stuff, um, let me see if I can find, here, this is, this is the chamois. The chamois, not the chamois, chamois. Okay, just because it's spelled funny doesn't mean that it isn't what they say. I don't know. I'm just going to go with whatever they tell me. So this is Shammy. It's 3 by 4 inches. Finest quality select skins imported. Made in China. Um, so it looks kind of like, um, like a skin, almost. The leather. You can see if I open it up real quick. See, I guess I have to pull this label. Ah! Well, there goes the label, so... Sometimes I try to preserve things somewhat, but I, mean, I guess in this case, oh, I could have done that. Mm. I guess I still could, it's just ripped in half, right? So I'm just going to do that haphazardly. There we go. Oh, good enough. And so, let me just open this side. It looks like it kind of pulls apart. Or I can just... Oh, I got scissors. <laughs> Open that ish up. Open. Open, 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 open. Sorry, I'm keeping track of the time because I hate dragging things on for too long. This is the chamois. It's very leathery, I would say. Like the soft interior of the leather. Not the, the hard hard leather, but the the soft leather, like suede almost. Um so that's kind of cool. So that's that's for shading and whatnot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read about the next item, the Pentallic Soft Pastels, while I show you them. This is also listed as a staff favorite. It looks like it says that they're in assorted earth and flesh tones, which is cool because I don't have any like this. Um, so let me, let me show you that. There's four of them. Um, oh, there we go. Put that right there. There we go, man. We love convenience, and when it comes to grabbing art supplies on the go, we reach for our Pentallic Soft Pastels. This petite four-pack of pastels is neatly packed into a small box, making it perfect for sketching on the go. Staying in one place, grab your Pro Art chamois cloth and get a little messy. This is pretty cool. Um, this looks like they're made by a company. Pentallic is a company out of Beaverton, Oregon, made, but they're made in China. So they're produced in China, but the company is out of Oregon. I always say that's weird. Like, you're an American company, but you're making stuff in China. And the way to cut corners. So it says, soft pastels, excellent blending qualities with a soft, smooth feel. Sharpen to a point with sanding block or use on their side for various shading techniques. I usually just kind of, like, take an edge and start wearing it down on my own. It's just kind of, because I hate wasting it by shaving it. Do you ever, do you ever, does anyone else do that? So, yeah, let me, let me pull the slip off and you can see the colors. Like very earth, yeah, very earthy peachy. One's kind of like a dark red brown. One is a little more peachy-ish. And, um, a little light tan and this is more like an orangey peach. I don't know. So 
that's neat. It doesn't really say specifically what the names of those colors are, but that's still pretty awesome. If anyone knows what those particular colors are in that set, let me know. Um, so now, this is the official opening um, for the rest of everything else. It comes in this little package. This is what how they wrapped it last time. They do like the little soft tissue paper, and they put their their sticker on there with the stamp. Um, it says, share your unboxing with us at Art Snacks and hashtag Art Snacks. So if you're an Art Snack subscriber, make sure that you share it and tag them um, to let them know. And so let's get to the opening, shall we? I'm going to open it. I'm just going to open them into the box, and then I'm going to pick them up individually and read. Try to match them up with what is on the list in order. Let's see how many things are in here. Okay, we've got like two items. That's cool. Alright, let's set the green tissue aside. Alright, so the Conte Pierre. I'm guessing it's this because this is the pencil, right? I think it's pencil. Okay. The Conte Pierre Noir sketching pencil, which is this. Right here. There's a new pencil in town. And its name is Pierre Noir. Conte's Pierre Noir sketching pencil has the darkest lead in the Conte Pierre pencil family and creates a matte finish. Its favorite services are craft paper, linen, toned paper, and your sketchbook. That's awesome because I love pencils that blend well in my sketchbook. Um, try your next portrait or landscape with the Pierre Noir and you won't be disappointed. That sounds awesome. It's a Pierre Noir 2B. I mean, it's a 2B lead. Yeah. Oh, wow. I just barely touch it. Like, it marked my finger. Really. Look at that. Very, very, almost, yeah, very uh, charcoal like in texture. So I'm sure. Let me, let me, let's do this. There you go. You can see a little bit. Not so much on the back, well, a little bit on the back of my hand. A little, little mark. That's awesome. I like how thick it is. Look at you guys see how thick that web looks. Very dark black. So, I think I'm going to be looking forward to using this in the future. Very, very neat. Um, so... They've got that. I'm trying to figure out what this next one is. Okay, alright. So I got this. This is called the Art and Graphic Twin by Zig. And so it looks like a double-ended marker. So let me read this. For our birthday, because this is their anniversary package, we wish for a unique kind of double-ended marker. Then we discovered the Art and Graphic Twin by Zig, one side of this marker has a brush-shaped rubber tip, making it super flexible on any surface. So, oh, these are made out of Japan, too. All right. So, one is a, I'm guessing that always the big side is usually the brush side. You see that? Uh, I'm just going to touch it lightly. I don't want to really mark myself up, but... It, yeah, it is rubbery. I can tell by the touch. That's how it kind of comes out. There we go. And um, the opposite end has a thin felt tip for fine detail work. It says, wishes do come true. <coughs> so this is <coughs> fine tip. It's not really a fine point per se, but it's finer than the brush tip. So if you can see, I'll just use my hand as a sample. <coughs> that might be good for doing some line work on illustrations. So that's awesome. This is, this side is felt. This one's a rubber tip, just so you know. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got like a cough out of nowhere. <coughs> it's kind of a residual being sick. I apologize. Okay, next. They give me um, aqua towel. So they gave me two of these things right here. It says, Aquatel, after all your drawing lessons, you probably have a rainbow of colors layered in every crease of your hands. Hmm. It's like they knew me. Um, 
<coughs> no sweat, we've provided you with the coolest little wet towel that will clean up the messiest of messes. The aqua towel was developed by a former NASA engineer and is made up of mostly water, making it the perfect cleaning tool to have in your back pocket. These are cool. Ingredients, aqua, which is 97.4%, fermented ethanol, 1.7%, Point nine non-active ingredients, which I don't know. For external use only, these are made out of South Korea. Recyclable package, it's awesome, and it's a biodegradable towel for anyone who sticklers for, you know, stuff that, you know, are disposable and they're not biodegradable. Um, cleansing towel for the hands, body, and face. So these aren't necessarily for art, but they could be used for people who are like artists on the go. You know, you have a tendency of using your sketchbook, because especially, I don't know, I don't know if it's just a lefty exclusive thing, but I feel that it's something that I run into a lot more often, because being a lefty, your hand is all over the side of where I'm working, generally, so it's going over here and then laying across my binder, and so I, I get graphite and all kinds of stuff displayed across my hands, and I just look filthy at the end of the day. So these could be handy for someone who's like doing artwork on the go. I guess they're they're fine for someone who isn't, but I would find it more useful for this because I figure I just go and wash my hands at the end of the day when I'm done at home. Um, but I like this. Um, they have a website, the Aqua aquatowel.com if you want to check them. So like I was saying before, before my camera horribly was rude and locked me out, I have only like six minutes to record this, so I'm going to finish this up real quick. The aqua towel is the last thing on the list. Um, I'm just going to read the last entry, and so we can go on about our lives, and I will be finished with this video, and I'll cut it together, and we'll be good. So, it says, our birthday present to you on March 1st. We turn two years old, and as an extra special thank you this month, you'll find a small art snacks patch in your box. Gently iron your patch onto your jacket, canvas bag, pencil pouch, or wherever else you want to represent art snacks. And I think I already showed you the patch, but I'll show you again. It's really awesome. I love it. And then, one more thing before I forget is the art snack. It's really sweet. It's nothing super indulgent, but it's a root beer flavored dum-dum. That reminds me of being in school, in like elementary school, having art and craft stuff and Teachers always giving me like little rewards for your job well done, and that's what it reminds me of. Memories are awesome. So it says, take the art snacks challenge. Use all the products in your box to create an original piece of art. Snap a picture of your artwork and share it on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag Art Snacks Challenge. All one word. I'll type it up later when I get a chance to upload all this. Like product, order more, visit artsnacks.co forward slash products. You can visit them at http artsnacks.co. I know I skipped all the other stuff. Whatever, you know how to you know how to use a URL. I mean come on, it's the internet. Anyway, I love this. These are awesome. I look forward to getting these. I'll be getting them until I think January of next year. So, um this is great. I love it. Um, thanks for checking out my box opening, my package opening, and I hope to see you real soon, and have a great day, bye!